shouting, yes, we'll still be shouting. who is with the First AME Church in Los Angeles. Uh, Mr. Wheeler, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Are, I, I called you Mr. Are you a reverend? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm a financial consultant with one of the largest uh, brokerage firms on Wall Street. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Yes. I'm showing my support for black men. What do you think about the activity so far? I think it's a fabulous event. I'm so proud to be here as a black man. I, I couldn't imagine being anywhere else on earth. How did you get here? Uh, I flew in from Los Angeles. What were the crowds like? Oh, uh, it was amazing. To, and, and you know what, there, there's a lot of talk about, for, for years, what, what has been happening in America is that black men have not been standing together. If a year ago, if you had told me that black men were gonna come together and be as many as they are here, or even half this many, I'd have told you you're dreaming. Never is, are black men gonna ever come together and do anything positive like this. It was one of my dreams, but I didn't think it would happen. And now look at this. And, and one, one, one thing that I'd like to see, um, I, I told a lady on the, in the airplane, she asked me why was I coming, and I said, she was a stewardess. I said, it's just like what you said uh, when, when they gave the demonstration about the, uh, the mask that drops down. You know, in order to help someone else who has the, ga the uh, oxygen mask, you got to put it on yourself Ladies first, and, and then you do your kid. And that's the same thing here. We cannot help our children, our women. We cannot help this country that so badly needs strong black men until we love ourselves and help ourselves. And that's why we're here. And it's beyond fire. You a couple of quick questions about the a million black men marching in Washington D.C. I said I have to go. I didn't know if I was going to go, but I said in my heart I want to go. And what if what about the crowd there today? Is it what you thought it would be at this point? Well, it's so hard to see. I'm waiting. I'm from Chicago. Where'd you go to school? Uh, a little short background. I speak fluent French, Italian, a little bit of Japanese. I've lived eight years in Paris, five years in uh, Rome, uh, what about six years in Japan. Um, in other words, you've been around. <laughs> I came because I remember 1963 and the unity that we showed as people in America. I came because I'm not so much afraid these days of the KKK, Ku Klux Klan, but in the words of Dolores Tucker, I'm, I'm afraid and concerned about KKK, kids killing kids. And my son is 15 years old in America today, and it's important for me that he understand not only that we love one another, but that we appear and are indeed a people who are unified to solve the problems of the African-American community. If we don't act to help ourselves, we will, we're doomed. And so that's why I'm here, because I believe in the principle. I may not agree totally in American people in unity. And that's why I'm here, because God taught me to love not just my brothers, whom all of these people are, but as a Christian, it's important for me to love my enemies as well. I think unity is really important today. When did you decide to If there were to be actually a million men or a million people on the mall, they would have to occupy the space all the way from the Capitol to the Lincoln Memorial. And he's 12 years old and he's from Fort Myer, Virginia. Mr. Shingler, why did you come to this march today? 
because I would like to be out here to make this part of history with all the black community. Where do you go to school? Oxon Hill Middle. How big is your school? Mm, it's pretty big. It has a cafeteria, gym, and two floors for this piece of history. And why is this important to you? Because I just want to attend a piece of history so I can tell this gen tell my next generation and my next generation about this. Is your why is this important today? Why, why is what's going on there important? Give me a sense for it. Because it's like the first time a lot of black men and women, I mean a lot of black men, is getting together, you know what I'm saying, for something positive other than negative. Do you support the goals of the march? I know Ms. Graves uh, put them up on the, on the uh, wall up there. Do, do you support the goals? No drugs, no gangs, no more black on black violence? I do. Very much I do. Well, your own personal opinion of today's event? I don't have a problem with it. I think that it's positive. I don't feel excluded. My man was included. And if my man is liberated, that means that I'm liberated. Ms. Graves, thanks very much. Thanks for letting the banner behind him. Uh, Mr. Brown, what's that behind you? Well, that's our banner uh, at the University of South Florida, Cap Alpha South Fraternity. We drove all the way here from Tampa to represent Tampa here at the Million Man March. How I'm enjoying myself here. Uh, it's, it's an immense pleasure to be around so many positive people. What do you do in Tampa? Are you a student? Yes, I'm a student. I'm a business student. I'll be graduating in December with a degree in marketing. Where are you from originally? I'm from Tampa. And why, what's the, well, first of all, how did you get here? We drove, actually. In a car or a bus? No, we actually rented a van and we drove. What do you think so far? I'm happy. I think uh, it's over a million people here, a million black men here. So, so many people gathered here for such a momentous occasion and one that's positive.